Hello everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for joining me. Now today I'm doing a Try It Out Tuesday video and I'm going to try something new. This is a stamp a die set from Tonic Studios. It's called Mandala Moments. It's the hug stamp a die set. Um, now normally I am not a big fan of mandalas, um, but sometimes it's good to go outside our comfort zone so I thought I would give this a go and it's, it's small enough for me to work with um, to let me know if I, I would like a, a one of the large beautiful ones I know mandalas are beautiful but I just I don't know they just oh, maybe one day <laughs> okay so we're gonna start off by doing our stamping I'm gonna grab my mini misty here I'm gonna remove the the mat from the inside and then I'm taking a piece of Nina Desert Storm 100 pound cardstock I'm going to use my anti-static powder tool, go over that paper, and then I'm going to ink up my stamp with my Versamark ink. Um, today I'm going to be coloring with my watercolor pencils, and so whenever I use my any kind of watercolor um, mediums, I like to create um, a barrier or a well, and embossing powders do this perfectly. So I'm just going to go in with my Glacier White embossing powder from Nuvo, and I'm going to go to go ahead and melt that and I want to apologize guys I've been a little bit under the weather lately and so if you hear my sniffling in the back I am so sorry I'm trying my best to refrain but um, that's another reason why this was posted late but these are the watercolor pencils I use I get the I got them on Amazon and they work really well for me um, I'm just using some bright rainbow colors and I'm gonna go around all the the areas on my little hugs there. Now I think that looks so fun especially the white against the craft and then the soft colors. Now any open areas that I missed this is the great part is I take my water brush and I just go over it and it'll spread out that color so the entire image is colored in. And I think it turned out really pretty it almost makes me want to buy one of those big ones. <laughs> so once that's that's done there, I'm going to take the coordinating die and I'm going to just cut out the word hugs. I'm going <clears> to <throat> pop out that center piece there. And I think that looks pretty. Okay, next I cut out a panel using a stitched rectangle die and this is three and a half inches by four and three quarters. I'm placing it towards the top part of my panel. Today's card is going to be a side folding card, so I'm going to go lengthwise on the panel. And I'm just going to use the negative space of this die. And I'm also grabbing a flower die from my stash. I've had these for a long time, but they are so pretty. So I'm going to cut out a white flower. I'm going to keep that center piece from the G. I just had to grab it from the big shot. It was stuck to my plate. but. We're going to use those elements, but I wanted a little bit of greenery behind that white flower. So I'm going to go in with the lightest green pencil that I have, and I'm just going to scribble it on a piece of white cardstock. And then I'm going to take my water brush and um, just go over it. I think this is the, the fun part. <laughs> it reminds me of those color books when we were little, where you just added the paintbrush to the, the paper. <laughs> but once we have our greenery done, I'm going to take a, a foliage die from Paper Smooches. I'm going to, this one looks almost like a fern, and I'm going to cut out three of them. So that's going to be the greenery for our flower. I'm going to flip my panel over and add some foam tape. Now this foam tape is not very thick, um, which is a good thing, because when I add my hug sentiment. I want it to be raised higher than my panel so this works out great. If you don't have two different sizes of foam tape um, you just double it up on, on the hugs part. Next before we secure that to our card base I'm going to take some natural jute cord. I double it up because it's pretty thin and I'm going to wrap it around and tie a bow to the left here on this panel. For my, my card base today, I'm using um, the Nina Desert Storm 100 pound card stock. I just um, scored and folded it to create a A2 size card. And I'm going to go ahead and add dimensional adhesive behind the word hugs and place that in the negative part of my panel there. 
and you can see it's lifted up a little bit, but it's really soft. I really like the colors. Okay, now I'm going to fill in my little G there. I wasn't too worried about the S's. I dabbed a little bit of glue in there, but it was probably a tight fit, so I decided not to do that. Okay, I'm going to grab my flower. I did put a glue dot behind it, right in the center, um, and I stuck it right underneath my bow. Next, I'm going to use my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive, and I'm going to adhere my green, my greenery underneath my flower, just kind of tucking it underneath the flower. I wanted to keep my flower pretty soft because I wanted my, um, my sentiment just to pop and I think it was really turned out really pretty. I do have pictures on Instagram guys and also on my blog if you want to see close-ups. The pictures are probably a lot more brighter. I did take a pink button for my stash. I thought it would add a nice little accent on top of my bow there. I'm just going to secure it with a glue dot. And that's it. That's my card for today. I'll leave links below to where you can check everything out. The The Hug Stampin' Die set was pretty inexpensive, but I think it's very pretty. If you ever want to try a um, mandala, this is a great starter one. <laughs> I wish you a fantastic day, guys. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.